Cool. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you doing? So, what's your name and where are you Enrique. from? Enrique. And where are you from? Spain. Spain, España. Yeah. Bienvenidos a Escocia. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> so, how was that event then? It was, I think, apart from the kayak and the swim, the one I had most fun. The long workouts, minute rest in between. Amazing. Yes. I loved yeah. it. I loved it. And do you think the, the rain had a big difference with that sandbag or was it just kind of like I just think clean and go? Once you are there, it doesn't matter if it rains, uh, snows, or it's like 40 degrees uh, heat. <laughs> yeah. You just want to jump and do it and finish us the best you can. Yep, and how are your and legs with those thrusters? That I don't must know how I'm tough. standing. <laughs> I don't know how I'm standing, guys. It's, but yeah, awesome. really good fun. Yeah. Great weekend. I had like most amazing weekend first comp ever so fantastic really happy well super well done and thank you so much for taking <laughs> thank the time you. to see you cheers us. awesome well done thank you see you later see ya. adios <laughs> awesome so firstly what's your name and where are you from so grant doig from edinburgh awesome uh johnny bickin from base fitness and crossfit in east Kilbride. fabulous and well done today guys that was ridiculously fast <laughs> how did it feel you just can't really think it was just kind of get up and go and Try and move as quickly as you can. Yeah. Yeah, you, there's, it's a very short event. You can't really make any mistakes. You've just got to close your eyes and go for it and just not not think at all. Yeah. And what about technique? Was there anything that you had to think about or was it literally just yes. like put that sandbag yeah, up I there and go? go? Well, I tried to go for like the double hand over the back and then it was heavier than anything I picked up over there. So I like, couldn't do it and then I had to adjust. But it just kind of pick up and go. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was a tough one because I mean, it's some people a minute less than a minute. And so... You can't have any mistakes. If you mistake, then it costs you a good few places. Yes. And what about the press-ups? How did you feel having your toes on the bag like that? It's a little bit different than normal. A little bit different. I didn't really notice it, to be honest. Like, okay. you just kind of, once you got going, it was fine. I think 30, like, you can kind of do it. So yes. don't spend too much time thinking about it. You just smash it out. Yeah. yeah, you have to go unbroken on that. If you broke it, then there was no a smart decision. Yeah, for sure. And how are you feeling ahead of the next event? What are your thoughts and feelings on that? Uh, I'm hoping I learn how to handstand walk in the next two hours. So <laughs> Love it. That'd be good. Yeah. What about the skipping? Skipping? Uh, I think we're fairly similar to ordinary double unders. Just, I guess, just a little bit heavier. Uh, the handstand walk and the thrusters may make it a little different. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Cool. Well, super well done today, and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Uh, thank cool. you very much. Take Cheers. Care. Cheers, guys. Awesome. First of all, well done. Thank you very much. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, I'm William Godding and I'm from Olapool. Awesome. What a fantastic race you did there. I think you're the only person who's actually can finish finish the race. Oh, really? Um, the end bit? I'm pretty sure for the for the men's RX, oh, that was amazing. Though. For this last bit yeah. anyway. How did it feel? Well, I knew the first event was kind of damage control. Where I live, there's not many flat areas okay. to do handstand walking. So I've only, since qualifying for this competition, I'm like, oh... Just man up and do it outside or make your own one in the car park. So, nice. <laughs> so I'm kind of getting there with that, but I thought the last event would be pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty good at double unders. Awesome. And the weight when in the warm up wasn't too bad. So yes. it was just about grinding through the, yeah. the thrusters. And I, I managed that. So, yeah. And your legs were okay with those thrusters? The legs were okay, actually. It's just the long wait in between. You, you feel the hill from the day before. Yes. And you're just getting all stiff and then. Exactly. Um, but when it gets to the adrenaline, you feel the adrenaline and you don't really feel it. You just listen to your judge and you go. So Exactly. And what about the rest of like the, the crowd? Do you think that really helps kind of with the adrenaline of getting you yeah, going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the speaker as well. You can hear your name being called and it just gives you yeah. that extra spur when you're being called. And you're like, oh, i got to get back to the awesome. the rope or the bag. Yeah, so. great. And is this your first um, CrossFit event? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Fantastic. First one. I've been trying to qualify for a couple of years, but with COVID, kind yes. of disrupted it. But yeah, I only knew about this. I was entered in this event because I didn't know it transferred from 2020 to 2021. Yeah. So the deadline was on the Friday or the Saturday. Okay. And I found out Friday night that I was in and I was like, awesome. I got to do all qualifiers <laughs> in one day. So oh my gosh. I did one in the morning, in the afternoon, and then the evening. Awesome. Well, you must have absolutely <laughs> smash that. So <laughs> yeah. well done. You smashed this event. So awesome Thank you very job. Much. Thank you very much. Take care. That was good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Ben, what a fantastic event. How did that go for you? Oh, well, I had to sort of pace it the whole way through. I just knew if I kept going over the limit I wouldn't last very long on the field so it was all about kind of taking the rest periods at the right time yes. but it was a, a lovely two-part workout yeah I must say it's uh, probably quite exciting for all the spectators as well yeah something kinda, different yeah 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 cool. there's a race and how did you find the handstands on this kind of terrain well, a bit well, different than being in the gym right yeah I, I mean so used to flat surfaces so every stroke tests your shoulders and your elbows so 
every time you place your hand down, you don't know if you're going to get too much earth on your fingers or on your palm. So it is a fight to yes, balance. Yes, definitely. So. What about those sandbags? They look pretty damn heavy with those on those legs they for got, the thrusters. They got really heavy. Yeah. Uh, 40 kilos might not sound much to someone, but when you've got to shift it like that in awkward positions, uh, they really test you. Yes, so. exactly. So what was going through your head then when you had those last few just to try and push all the way through? Um, I mean, the, the weighted rope really like fatigues your arms. Yeah. You don't feel like you can keep the speed of the double unders, so... I think it was just a case of telling myself, stop, take a rest. Otherwise, if you, you end up getting no reps, then uh, it can really kind of mess up your kind of pace. So, yeah, it was just uh, pain and gain, just power through it. Definitely. Enter the pain cave. Definitely. Awesome. And one last question. Snowboarding, CrossFit, how do they compare? Oh, they, I, I would say right now I'm, I'm fitter than, than I've ever been. I've certainly tested more areas of fitness in this just because there's so many variants yes but snowboarding was always uh it's always tough on the legs yes tough on the breathing with the altitude but hopefully i've done that's sort of helped me yes for and sure. i convert into crossfit so awesome. I, I love it it's yes brilliant. it's so lovely to see you here competing well done looking forward to the next event thank you Ace. so much well done thanks guys <laughs> so first of all fantastic well done that was an amazing event what's your name where are you from hey uh, craig Lewis, uh, from my uh, uh, wind fitness perfect awesome how was that event for you yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Look like you absolutely kinda, smashed Yeah, it's kind of my wee voice. I do a lot of, kind of strongman training, so sandbags are done most weeks. So to be honest, it was probably quite light for me. So yeah. how, did the, how did the burpees feel being incorporated with that? Yeah, it was good, definitely. Like, it's just a whole other stimulus. Like, that's just hits you with the lungs, but it was just not enough to make it too bad. Yes. Didn't slow you down too much, so yeah. only 18 in total, so... Yeah. Any more than that might have been worse the last yeah. event of the day. So Yeah, exactly. How did good. your legs feel when you were running with the bag versus without the bag? <laughs> oh, yeah, the big difference with the bag. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but this bag helps a wee bit because it kind of pulls you forward, so for keeps sure. you moving, but no, yeah. it's good. And how about the rest of the weekend? What was your favourite event? Uh, probably the clean ladder at okay. the end of the day yesterday. Yeah. Um, I've been really looking forward to that because that had been announced quite a while ago. It's like, right, that's it's one that I really know I can do well on, so yes. just wanted to go for it, and I was really, really pleased because the guys times in the first few heats were unbelievable yeah. I was a wee bit worried but then Definitely. managed to pull out of the bag so but that was bright as well that's a great yeah. way to finish just oh, 100%. top five just going for it so yeah, it was absolutely good smashed it and how about the swim yesterday uh, swim I was glad not to drown <laughs> 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 I have awesome. swam probably once in the last like three years okay well amazing <laughs> so, then yeah building up to this it was literally one go in the pool and made sure I could do like 12 lengths without touching the sides and I was yeah, like oh, I'm fine yeah. I'll survive yeah awesome <laughs> so that was the aim have you done another, an event like this before no, it's the first like uh, CrossFit event I've done, uh, live one. I've done a few, obviously, online and stuff, yes. with, with Cobra and stuff, but uh, I normally do kind of strongman competitions, so this is yeah. my kind of change of authority. Cool, yeah. Try something different. So sum this weekend up for us. What's Warden Lock been for you? Uh, atmosphere. Yeah? It's just been good, like, having everybody out here, having fun for the last, you know, year or so. It's just nice to be out and doing things again yeah, with other people <laughs> and competing with other people yeah. so it's great there's a few of my friends came with for the box and like everybody just smashed it this week like everybody had pvs on everything they were aiming for and that was like i said yesterday there's a couple of guys hit like the last sandbag of the clean ladder and they weren't expecting to hit it and that 100%. was like that was a moment for me like yes. even more than my own so it was it was awesome yeah awesome really well good. thank you so much for taking the time to speak yeah, to no us worries. fantastic thanks. event and uh, we'll see you later yeah thanks cool. very much that's all right See you yes. later. Cool. Awesome. So, tell me what's your name? Kate. My Kate. Name's, where are you from? I uh, live in Leeds. Awesome. And we already know Amy from Aberdeenshire. A boy and awesome. So, how was that, guys? The final event. You two were absolutely on it with each other the whole way. I think it was pretty savage. Yep. Like, I forgot to do a burpee at one point. I had to go back. I was like, oh, God. Just to yeah. remember all the movements and then get over that bar. Especially when so, like adrenaline's running through your head and you're just focusing on getting to that finish line. It's like, oh my gosh. So I guess that's why we've got our judges there to help us. So Yeah, which is good. Yeah. How did you feel it went? Oh, it was really fun with all the crowd supporting and stuff. The uh, the 40 kilogram bag was a bit of a tricky one to get over. Nearly, yeah. nearly missed getting it over a couple of times, but Definitely. yeah, really good fun. And really how were those burpees? <laughs> uh, I don't remember the worst the part. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was that 40 kilo ball, to be honest. Yeah. And they're running, trying to keep moving. Yeah, definitely. With the ball. Okay, awesome. So, one word to sum up this weekend. <sighs> Midges. <laughs> Midges. <laughs> what about uh, yourself? 
Just, just unbelievable. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm You're not fun. sure who like who's come first out of that whole event, but fantastic work from both of you guys. Thank you so Ace. much. Go get changed or race. Just go recover. Thank Eat all the food. The organizers as well. It's been really, really yeah, awesome. So really awesome fun, to have yeah. you here. So well done. Awesome. Thank you guys. Take care. You too. Awesome. What a final event for you guys. It looked amazing fun actually. Maybe not for the last event. How did it feel? <laughs> oh, it was so much fun. Like it was so like it was fast. It was heavy at the same time. Could better, could better everything. Yeah, definitely. How about yourself? Absolutely. These two girls pushed so hard. Oh. You just knew they were there and you could not stop that last one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. How did it feel for you? Uh, I was empty. I had nothing left. And honestly, it was my judge. Like, he was like, go. And I could yeah. feel him. And I was like, okay, uh, I'll go. Definitely. Well, I can tell you from for, for my point of view, it was so amazing to watch back and forth. You didn't really know he wasn't, you were yourself, you were in front for ages. Yeah. And we're two and throwing, two and throwing. It was such an amazing one. What a final event to finish on. What was your favourite event from this weekend? Oh, it had to be the swim. Yeah? It was so beautiful and you're swimming along the water, it was so cold and you can see like the mountains. Probably a good cool off from that run. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> what about yourself? Probably the trail run, that was the biggest mental win. I'm not a runner and I got up and down that hill, so yeah. it's a win. Yeah, definitely. What about yourself? I love the sandbag sprint yesterday. Anything that's like a minute or less than a workout, <laughs> that's me. Very <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so if you guys could sum up Ward in the Lock, how would you explain it? Uh, it's been really fun. So you know how it brings the outdoor, the environment, the scenery in at the same time? Yes. Uh, there's been a good broad of spread of distances and weights and things like that. Yeah, yeah it's been really good fun. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Cool. What about yourself? Yeah, it's been great. It's cut. Co- it covered everything, and the people have been so good. Like, everybody's been so friendly. Like, it's been amazing. Cool. Awesome. What about you? Yeah, I got to echo that. The atmosphere, the judges, everyone's just been so lovely. It's felt so welcoming. It's been really well rounded, and I've been like throughout my comfort zone. So, yeah, definitely. Well, it's been so fantastic being here in the open, having an event like this, especially because of all COVID. It's so lovely to see you guys here competing and I hope you to see to see you in another event in the future. But well yeah, done. Thank awesome. You. Cool. Cheers, thank Take you. care. Bye now. <laughs> Awesome guys, so what a fantastic final event. I actually really want to give it a shot, but I don't know if I want to give it a shot at the end of such an epic weekend. That was brutal. How did it feel? Uh, oh, the, the last one was just like the, the one to finish us all off, I think. Yeah. I think we we're all kind of feeling it there at the finish line. Yes, definitely. How are those legs feeling? Oh, the whole body's dead. <laughs> I can't feel anything. <laughs> so what were you guys' favourite event of the weekend? I think the first part of the last event, event five. Okay. Hands down walking in, as the thrusters came in, it got less fun. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the first part was good. <laughs> it looked brutal, what about yeah. yourself? The swim was super fun. Yeah? Mixing it with the kayak as well, that was good. Yeah, good something spin. definitely different. different. Different from like, yeah, it's more like something you would see at the games and sanctionals. Yeah, so definitely. Fun to see it here. Yeah, awesome. What about yourself, man? I, I actually find the swimming really good. I mean, I don't know about these guys, but it really like messed with my training because uh, I had to go and find a day to swim. Actually swim? <laughs> yeah, so that was, uh, yeah, it was really good. Cool, awesome. What about yourself? Yeah, I'd definitely say the swim, but I think every single event, because it's been like none of the events I could do in my own box, and that's been really special, pretty unique. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Especially the handstand walks, doing that on this kind of terrain. Oh, wet grass, yeah. Flat. Can't, can't yeah, replicate that. Well, yeah. like, you don't find that in London. <laughs> yeah, but definitely. Yeah. What about yourself, Johnny? Um, I just think this weekend has been a pretty good test of all our fitness. I mean, obviously we haven't been able to get a pull-up bar or some things like that, but I mean, that's just, if you're not ready for this kind of stuff, then you're not very fit, are you? You need to be ready for everything, so this has done a good job of testing pretty much everything. Exactly, and what I find is that there's been very typically CrossFit. You've got no idea what's going on. You're on terrain that you're not used to, which is what CrossFit's all about, okay? What a fantastic event. Thank you guys so much for coming, Thank and I look forward to seeing you guys doing other events in the future. Cool. Good job, guys. Awesome. Congratulations to both of you. You are the champions of the RX here at For Wad on the Loch. How does it feel? Oh, it's mad. It's totally unexpected. Um, Why? Because <laughs> I just turned out trying to have fun. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just saying to these guys, I was at the front for the run, the first event, and the two guys, well, the four guys around me just all popped their tops, these absolute units. And I just thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, out of nowhere, I've. Um, Held on to first place. Awesome. Yeah. So you feel like you've had a consistency throughout the weekend? Yeah, I don't think I've won an event, but I think everything was top five and yeah, I'm I'm buzzing. That's almost like true Matt Fraser style, is just keeping up there and near the top all the way through the I really appreciate the comparison. Yeah, Yeah. that's all right. (laughs) He's done me me a solid though. (laughs) How about yourself? How was this weekend for you? 
really, really enjoyed it. Um, I just, I'm pretty much the same. Came to have a good time, and I definitely did. Really enjoyed myself, and yeah. We'll take the one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What a fantastic place to hold an event. It was amazing having everyone here, spectators and athletes included. Right, guys, Super well done if and hopefully see you in the next event.